Well, it's Christina here, and I got the planting done. Oh my god. Those things are still doing good in there. These are some of the flowers I got. I got some columbines and some lady slippers. And the tulips are coming out really nice. These columbines are just so pretty. I really like them. I accidentally uh, hit the water too hard on the tulips. There's another columbine right there. Uh, variegated iris I really like in a different color. Oh, it might be the same color lady slipper over there. And that right there is called curly fries. That's a hosta. So, yeah. Oh, I am beat. I've been out here all day. Um, Walmart had little bunnies for sale for 10 cents. Little wooden ones. I mean, nothing spectacular, but hey, 10 cents. I'll take it. Found him at a thrift store, so there's a creepy head behind the hosta. And another 10 cent bun bun. So, yeah. That's been a lot of work today. Um, I got everything in except Mudbrooker's Butler squash because that's got to strengthen up a little bit. It's still kind of tiny. So I'm letting that stay in the grill room downstairs. And all of these racks. I have actually four asparagus plants. Um, this one right here though, the white one. I don't know. It almost looked like it had some sort of light or something. I hope it's got a shoot coming up. And tomatoes. I accidentally bought way too many tomatoes, but I got an entire, I, I got 20 of them for free. So I'm like, oh, oh good deal. <laughs> uh, planted some herbs and some marigolds in between. Uh, there's still the onions here, of course. I ran out of space, so I had a room there, so I stuck another tomato. See, my fiddlehead ferns are doing fantastic. I'm so happy. Under here, um, I have beets. I've got different peppers, and I stuck them under here to at least let them get established before I find out if rabbits really like them or not. I may have to fence in this bed. I don't know. But, uh, I have cucumbers back here, two, the yellow and the green zucchini, and I forgot, I think, two types of cucumbers. Yeah. So, busy. Magica's doing really well. More potting mix. I have to, when you get one of those raised garden beds that's on a stand, make sure that it's got drain holes. So we have to drill drain holes in it tomorrow. Of course, everything's doing okay here. I planted some of the herbs around the tomatoes to help protect from bugs. But with my luck, the rabbits will eat everything. I didn't get to mow because the mower wouldn't start. So dad's bringing his mower tomorrow and is going to mow. My luck's still doing fine. Here is the... Uh, gooseberry bush which is really really thorny and then of course the blackberries over there are doing fine and I have the cages on them so dad doesn't accidentally mow them over <laughs> he's he's mowed over plants over the years <laughs> including here um, I got some potato seeds started or starters in the raised uh, straw bed. It looks like they're coming up. Again, more things I don't want Dad to mow. And is potato. <laughs> so yeah, that joke is never going to get old. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at. And there's my 
lawn that should be mowed, but I am so exhausted. I've done so much work this weekend. I just can't anymore. And I have to prep the dandelions for the jelly and make supper for a couple days. So when I'm not home, hubby has stuff he can uh, fix and uh, help him with his shower. And I do a 16 hour night shift on Monday. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. I'm wore out. I'm so wore out. But it was worth it. If all of this grows, I definitely am going to have tomatoes coming out my armpits. But we eat them like apples around here, so I really don't care. <laughs> we put tomatoes on everything. I might have to just make salsa up then or something, though. It's going to have to be salt-free, but that's all right. Do a lot of salt-free cooking around here now. So anyway, that's it. Garden update. It's in, except for Mudbrooker squash. It's the last thing that's got to come in. So anyway, you guys have a great night. There went a piece of my fence again by my garage. That's what that bang was. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Blessed be everyone. Take care and have a great night.